Now, the underlying cause of the crisis, as many have pointed out, might have been complacency brought about by the great moderation, rising real estate prices, et cetera, but no one had the responsibility or the tools or the decision structure to execute a counter, to counter that, to counter that pro-cyclicality in the financial system and build resilience to the inevitable cyclical over shooting in debt and asset prices. Now we have those tools and structures. They've been built, and I think Jose and his colleagues at the IMF have done a great job in describing them and talking about the way forward. Our challenge is to operate macroprudential policy in a highly developed, globally integrated financial markets. So emerging market economies have operated macroprudential policies for a long time in kind of confined spaces. And the use, as Doug has pointed out, in his very interesting paper that he, and along with some other colleagues, have written about the history of macroprudential policy in the United States, there was macroprudential policy in the United States, but it fell into disuse, changes in reserve requirements, credit controls, margin requirements on equity, and I think it fell into disuse because of the development of financial markets meant that there were just a lot of alternatives to instruments that were focused narrowly on particular institutions or particular markets. And our challenge is now to develop broader instruments uh, to uh, have a, to damp the pro-cyclicality of the financial system uh, even in this globally integrated world.